Hey everybody, Jonathan here from Orange Turbine. In the last video that I posted to this channel, Retopaflow 4 Alpha had just come out and Polypen was the sole tool that worked with it. But since then we've made a lot of progress and have incorporated almost all of the other tools into the alpha. So we're not quite to the beta stage because we don't have all of the tools there yet, but once things are more stable, then we'll go ahead and get into the beta. Now I wanna make one video for each of the different tools, at least for the big ones, because there are some changes from Retopaflow 3 that I'm really excited to share with you and I think they deserve their own video. So in this video, I want to talk about strokes because there are some new things that you can do with strokes that you couldn't do before. For those not familiar, Strokes is a tool that lets you just draw patches directly on the mesh. So you do that by just holding down control, selecting some area, and then extruding that by just drawing more strokes. But the cool thing about Strokes is that it understands a lot of different types of gestures, not just drawing two parallel strokes. So of course we can do that, and that's called an equals strip. Of course, you don't have to remember the names of these, but in case you wanna look up the documentation later, they're over in the redo panel on the bottom left. So you can tell what type of strip you just inserted. But even with this most basic strip, we have some new options. Previously, you could hold shift and scroll to change the cut count, but in this version, that's been changed to control scroll so that you don't have to take your hand off the control key. But you can also now hold shift and scroll up or down to increase or decrease the smoothing. Now, when they're already roughly parallel, not much is going to change but let's go ahead and make two strokes that are at very different angles from each other. Here, I'll increase the count, and this is exactly what Retopaflow 3 would do, which in some cases might be what you want, but in other cases, it might be a lot better to smooth this out, and you can do that just by holding shift and scrolling up or down. You can also do that here in the redo panel. So if you want to just keep this at one, then you can set the smoothing to one in the tool settings, and then you can just draw out your different strokes, and they'll all be smoothly interpolated between. I find this really powerful, and I'm really glad that it's in Retopaflow 4. Another thing that you can do is adjust the spacing for the start and the end, but this isn't one that I adjust much, so I usually leave that alone. Now, what's exciting about strokes in Retopaflow 4 is that it supports more types of gestures. So, so far we've just been doing the equals stroke by drawing a stroke parallel to the selection, but what we can also do is drag out from any of these vertices and make a T-strip. So before in strokes in version three, you could only drag out from the ends, but now you can draw out from any vertex in the middle. So you can wrap this all the way around, do whatever you want, and all of the other loops will be created to match. Now with this new option, we also have a new extrapolation setting, which can be set to either flat or adapt. Now, when our stroke is already straight up or down, then this isn't going to make much of a difference. But if we have a curved selection and then we draw a stroke out of it, then adapt is going to follow the curvature of that original stroke, or you can set this to flat and it'll all be parallel. So by default, it's set to flat, but you can also keep this at adapt and just work really quickly that way. That way you can have more of a complex shape like this and still draw a stroke out of it Whereas flat, you kind of get a little bit of a mess. So oftentimes adapt is really, really cool and allows you to make complex shapes a lot easier. Another one of the new stroke types is the C strip. So if you already have some vertices here and you want to extrude this outwards, but you want to be more specific about the shape of the new patch, then what you can do is just define all corners of it. So for example, I want it to go along here then I can just define the rest of the three sides and it'll fill in the space in between. So that's often similar to just creating an equals strip like this. But again, I can just be more specific about exactly where I want the corners to be and what I want the overall shape to look like. Another thing that was already possible in Retopaflow 3 was bridging between two sections. So here, let's say we have these three edges and I want to connect them to this other patch over here. Then I can just hold down control start from one vertex and end on the other vertex. That'll bridge in between. The one thing that's new in Retopaflow 4 is that we can now shift this up or down after the fact if you want. You can just change the shift value and this will just walk around the vertices in case you had a more complex selection and you happen to miss exactly which one you wanted to connect to. You can also just hold down Alt and scroll up or down and walk this along the edge. So in case you accidentally connected to the wrong one, no big deal. 
And just like before, you could also close a gap by selecting the vertices that make up the bottom and connecting the top two vertices and filling in patches that way. So there are a lot of ways to use strokes to fill in gaps and fill in patches. Another thing that you can do with strokes is create loops. And we can do this in version three too. Just create a complete closed circle or oval or really any shape, just as long as it's enclosed, and that'll create a loop. Now what's special about a loop is that you can then draw another loop outside of it to define another loop and then add as many rings as you want in between. Or since we can now do the T strips, which we couldn't do before, you can just draw out from any of these vertices and extrude that way. So you can add, you know, spin or you can go inside, whatever you want to do. Uh, just draw in a pretty natural fashion and Retopaflow knows what you want to do. So that can be really nice for creating eyes and all sorts of shapes. Oh, and one thing that I almost forgot to mention is that we have a new span count method in Retopaflow 4. So before it was set to either brush size or fixed, where when you hold F, then you can change the brush size and you see that brush size when you hold down control. But what was the problem with this is that even though if you have the brush size the same, then you can get these evenly spaced quads. But if you, let's say, have you know, a much more sparse set of geometry, and then you hold down control, maybe you zoom in a little bit, then you're not going to get even quads anymore because the brush size is now different relative to those edges. So you'd have to just kind of constantly adjust your brush size in order to get even quads, and that was kind of annoying. Now, fixed was also a really good option, but I usually use that with a fixed count of one just to do simple extrusions, and I found that really helpful. But again, often I want those evenly spaced quads. So what average does is on the very first stroke when nothing is selected, then it uses the brush size. But every time after that, when you have a selection that you're extruding, then it takes these edges into account and uses the length of them to determine how many cuts there should be so that you always get as evenly spaced quads as possible. So no matter how many vertices you have, when you set this to average, then you're always going to get even quads every time. Now, when the alpha and beta are finished and Retovaflow is released, I'll put out more tutorials on how to actually use these in practice and not just technical demos like this. But for now, I just wanted to demonstrate what's new with Strokes so that you can start using it right away. If you want to sign up to be a beta tester, you can do that in the link below. And then when we have a new build, then we'll email that out to everybody and you can give it a try. You can also experiment with all of the other new things that are in Retopaflow 4 that we haven't talked about just yet, but I'll be putting out videos for those soon as well. So thanks so much for watching, have a great rest of your day, and happy modeling.